So I hope you enjoyed the last episode of us in Nebraska chasing muleys. Now we're back chasing whitetails. So one day after work, Hood decides to go film a good friend of his, Michael, on his property in Missouri. And what a hunt it was. So we hop in the truck and get to his camp in just enough time. And man, his field is immaculately laid out and planted. Michael's put a lot of effort into planting the proper plot screens so that we can easily slip in and out of our blinds undetected. I'm impressed. After a relatively slow start and a couple of young deer come into the field, we eventually had a couple other bucks show up. This one buck started working trees all the way down the wood line almost towards us. And after watching it for a while, Mike and I decided that if this deer came in range, he was gonna shoot him because he only had a few days that he could actually hunt this year. It was literally like the deer was reading our minds and this deer took the absolute best path for Michael to take a shot. We ranged the deer at 40 yards and Michael knew that he needed to go ahead and aim a little low so that the deer would duck into the shot. Man, dude, that was awesome. You shot that deer right behind the shoulder and it dropped in its tracks. Of all the years of filming, I've never seen anything quite like that. I can't believe he dropped right in the spot where we hit him. I've never seen that before. I'm pretty excited just to be able to bring him right in here. It's been it's been a whole year of getting the field set up and, and everything just for this purpose. So pretty cool this year to see him work right down the trail, come in 40 yards and dropped him. Didn't even go two feet. I don't know if they hit his back shoulder or what. How awesome was this hunt? I mean, the deer worked in the field around him, hitting the trees, and then comes right in and gives him the shot of a lifetime. I'm glad Justin decided to tag along on this hunt because if he hadn't videoed this, I definitely wouldn't have believed it. That was an awesome shot. What an awesome last minute afternoon hunt, and it couldn't have worked out any better or for a better guy. So now it's a week later and I'm up in Nebraska with my good buddy Cody James trying my luck with a weekend run and that means all day sits because it's the rut. Last year I hunted with Cody and we didn't have the camera with us to capture my first buck with a bow but this year I brought my good buddy Aaron Morgan with me to make sure that that didn't happen again. Right at first light we had turkeys flying off the roost right in front of us and eventually they worked their way right to us. Even whenever I have someone filming me, I always like having a camera in my hand because filming professionally outdoors is one of my deepest passions. As the day went by, we didn't have anything come up in front of us for hours. And eventually, as it started to get dark, we had a young 10 point cruise past us. Once he cleared the field, it was about that time that we decided we'd go ahead and get out the blind and call it an evening. The next morning it was coming down to the wire and eventually I had a single doe come out in front of us and I was just really hoping that she was a hot doe. So as soon as she left the area I hurried up and got down on the ground and I wanted to check all my angles because last year when I was in Kentucky I had a beautiful buck come out in front of me and my posture wasn't right and whenever I tried to shoot at this thing I hit way underneath it so I definitely didn't want to have that happening again. So in the middle of checking my angles and Aaron shooting b-roll I just happened to look up and I got a buck coming straight to me. I think this thing's coming right to where this doe was just a minute ago. I knew I wasn't gonna have much time to take a shot, so I hurry up and ranged him. He was at 44 yards, and as soon as he turned broadside, I took the shot.
Man, I mean, I just started using these slash sayers last year and they do not disappoint. I mean, did that just really happen? You let that slash fly and it dropped him in his tracks. Congratulations, buddy, on a great deer. Wish I'd have been there to celebrate. Dude, good job, man. Thanks. Good job. That couldn't have worked out any better. Oh my awesome goodness, work. how awesome was that? Not only did one buck get dropped this week, but Justin just dropped another one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what an awesome deer. Good mature Nebraska buck. Two years in a row, Cody has gotten it done for me. He is the man. I'm just absolutely in love with this thing. And he's just super symmetrical. And uh, what a great story to tell and to have captured by Aaron. Dude, good. Yes. Did it again, man. You put me on him. Man, just nothing like a good 10 point, man. Is this right where you dropped? Yeah. Yep. 44 yards, man. Crazy. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Thanks so much, brother. Did it again. Thanks to Cody of James Trophy Outfitters for once again putting him on a great buck. You guys really need to check him out. On the next episode, Matthew travels back to Kansas to hopefully break his curse from the past few years.